Hi, I'm Nick from the application security team. In this video, we're going to log into Secure Code Warrior and start a training course. We'll wrap up with a quick look at some of the other things we can do in Secure Code Warrior. Secure Code Warrior is an online gamified training platform that will help team members write more secure code and spot areas for improvement during code review. We log in to Secure Code Warrior using Okta. After logging in, we look to the navigation bar at the top of the page, click on Courses, and then My Courses. Here you'll see a list of courses that have been assigned to you. Today we'll look at the GitLab Secure Development short course. These courses can be completed in the languages we use at GitLab, Ruby, Go, Vue.js, Node.js, Python. I've already completed the course in Ruby and started the course in Go and Vue. So this time I'll start it in Python. You only need to do it in one language. So you'll see a list of the content that forms the course. It's a mix of video, missions, and challenges. Each video is up to a few minutes long. Missions are closer to interactive hacking and challenges are closer to code review. Click enroll in the top right. We can watch the videos at a pace that suits us. And you can also see the slides if you like. This video will teach us about missing function level access control. And you just continue through the content. So this here is a mission. Missions are like hacking a real website, but in a safe way. You might learn some skills to try locally in GDK when reviewing a merge request, but never hack something that you don't have permission to hack. Let's follow the instructions to complete the mission. So first let's log in as Alice. To investigate the menu, have a look at the menu in the Viking Bank UI. Compare this to the code snippet in the right pane. And here we see if user is admin, then add in another navigation item. Otherwise, add it, but comment it out. So that doesn't seem super secure. I wonder if we're missing some server-side access control. It seems that the link to the users page is hidden for non-admin users. Apparently, the only authorization on the endpoint is by hiding it in comments. Access it by adding slash users to the browser bar. So we can go up here. To this browser within a browser, type users, hit enter, and we've hacked this website. The user feature might not be visible in the UI, but it is easily seen in the HTML. Even then, it's pretty easy to guess. So we'll click continue. And now we have another video about SQL injection. Here we have a challenge. So this is, again, closer to the code review style of learning. So we need to review the code blocks in the source code and select one code block that causes the SQL injection vulnerability. Here we have a file explorer. We have some tabs that show the code. We can view any of these if we want to. And we also have the code blocks that are eligible as answers to this challenge. We also have the ability to choose to get a hint. So let's unlock a hint. So it says this code block has been eliminated by a hint you received. So we know that that particular block is not relevant. What else have we got? Uh, inserting into providers, provider list. Not sure where provider list comes from. Let's look at the next one. Uh, select from where provider ID equals percent %s, and then provider ID. Uh, and then we've got another one. So what do we need? We need to select one code block 
that causes the vulnerability listed below? I would say it's this one. So let's unselect that, submit answer. And we were right. Great. Secure Code Warrior has a concept of points and answer accuracy, but from GitLab's perspective, there is absolutely no penalty for using hints or getting incorrect answers. The goal is for you to learn and have fun. Here we see the next challenge is to identify a fix to the security bug we just identified. After completing a course, congratulations. The next steps are for you to decide. There are three great places to look. One is training, either by language or through mission control. We can learn about different security concepts through challenges again. Another is resources. And finally, through coding labs. We'd encourage you to use your Google Calendar to set aside some time for regular learning and development. If you have questions or feedback, ask in the Secure Code Warrior Slack channel.